A cone can be formed by folding a sector. In this video, we will understand how the parameters of cone and the sector are related. I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to my YouTube channel and the website Global Math Institute. In this video, we will understand how is a cone related with the sector. Sector can be folded to form a cone. That is a very important thing to understand. Here you can see a sector. This is folded to form a cone shown in the diagram. So the cone with height of 10 centimeters and diameter of the base as 12 centimeter is made from the sector shown in the diagram. Find correct to three significant figures, the slant length L, the value of R, the arc length of the sector, the sector angle theta in radians. So, this particular sector has been folded to form a cone whose height is 10 centimeters and the diameter of the base is 12 centimeters. We need to find the slant length of this cone the radius of the sector and the arc length of the sector. Perfect. I hope you understand the question. Now, let us try to figure these out one by one. Well, in case you want to learn from me, you can always send an email on the address given. Now, to find the slant height, we are given the cone with diameter of the base is 12. So, the radius will be 6, right? Solve this problem on a fresh page. So, we are given a cone whose diameter is 12. If I drop a perpendicular, consider two dimensional thing, right? In that case, the radius is going to be 6, right? We know height is 10, so this is 10. You can find the slant length using Pythagorean theorem. So, that is the slant length which we can find. So, S is equal to square root of 6 square plus 10 square. Perfect. So, let us figure this out. How much is this? So, 36 plus 100 square root is 2 square root 34, which can be written as 11.6619. We'll take it 2. Now, we have to write all our answers to three significant figures. So, we'll approximate this to 11.7 centimeters. Is that clear to you? So, we know this slant length. Now, this slant length is related with the cone. Can you tell me how are they related? Well, slant length is same as the radius. So, these two sides, the slant length and the radius, they are exactly same. And therefore, we can now write down what radius is. So, radius of the sector, which is equal to the slant length of the cone, is to three significant figures, 11.7 centimeters. Is that clear to you? Both are exactly the same. Now, we have to find the angle theta and the arc length. Well, how is this arc length related with, with the cone? This circular base has the same perimeter as that of the arc length because that folds into the circular base, right? So, now let us find what is the perimeter of this circular base of the cone. So, let us call the circumference is 2 pi r 
r being 6, it will be 2 pi times 6 or 12 pi. So, that is the exact value of the circumference. Now, since we know the radius of the sector, we know what is the arc length A of the sector. Arc length A is R theta. Now, that should be equal to 12 pi. You get the idea. R we know as 11.7, correct? But since we need to find a very accurate value, we are going to use R as 11.662. Perfect. So, let us write down this equation and find theta from here on the next page. So, we are saying that R theta is equal to 2 pi R, 2 pi into radius of this, which is 6. We know the value of R. We can calculate it as 11.66. I can approximate it to 2. So, we can now find the value of theta, correct? So, theta will be equals to 6 times 2, 12 times pi divided by r, which is 12 pi divided by 11.662, right? Let us calculate this. So, we have 12 divided by 11.662 times pi. That gives you 3.232. Now, this angle is in radians, right? This angle is in radius. So, we write the C on the top for radians or you can just write radians there. Perfect. So, so, we know that theta is 2.3 2.23 radius. So, we got all the parameters. The slant, we just calculated same as r, right? Theta as 3.23 radians. And arc length A was equal to the circumference of this, right, which is 2 pi times 6, right. Let's calculate this value. I did not calculate the exact value. I mean, this is the exact value, 12 pi. Let's calculate. So, 12 times pi, which in decimals is 37.69, rounded to 37.7 centimeters. Perfect. So, we have all our answers. Units for length are centimeters for each. Correct. So, that is how we are going to answer this particular question. So, it is important to understand that when we talk about a sector and a cone, then the relation is that this circumference of the base is same as the arc length, right? And second part is that the radius is same as the slant height. So, once you get to this, then it is very easy to find the relations. You know, the circumference C is 2 pi r, arc length A is r theta, where theta is in radius. Slant height, you can find easily using Pythagorean theorem, right? Height square plus radius square square root. So, these relations help us to relate the sector to cone or vice versa. Is that clear to you? So, all questions based on Cone and sector relations can be solved following this particular method. I hope it makes sense.
Feel free to write your comments, share your views. If you like and subscribe to my videos, that would be great. Thanks for your time and all the best.